Hey y'all, this is David, Georgia photographer, and today I'm in beautiful Trenton, Georgia. Four traffic lights in Trenton, this one being the biggest. The state of Georgia at some point wants to convert this into a humongous roundabout, apparently to better facilitate traffic jams, because when the school's let out, since there's only like one road through town, this becomes locked down in traffic because the middle school is on that side of the interstate and the high school's on this side of the interstate and the buses try to navigate it and it's a big mess. Today I'm down here in Trenton and what I've got is I've got the Z6 and I've got my 20 millimeter. This is the AF-D series. Okay, this is, this is a screwdriver focus lens. So I've got it on a simple um, connection ring adapter. There's a, no electrical connection here, it's just mechanically adapted it to the Z6. So I'm gonna to have to manually focus and set my aperture by hand. But what I wanna do is I'm gonna do some photos with it today and see how it performs on the Z6. I'm pretty well expecting stellar performance. This lens has always performed well on my D810. So I have no reason to believe it won't produce phenomenal results on this Z6 as well. The luxury of a 20 millimeter is I can get literally right up on subjects and still fill the frame properly. Now it's so bright out here, I can't see. See, this is a sign of the times. And what I want to do is capture this and save it for posterity because they didn't get to have a graduation. This would have been Sierra's senior class, but since she graduated early, she's actually going to graduate college in two more classes. She's literally got two five-week classes to go and she graduates with a college degree instead of a high school diploma. I'm pretty proud of Sierra for that. Let me get back a little further. Uh, I want the whole bus in frame. Let's see. There's what I want right there. Something you have to learn to do with the 20 millimeter or any super wide lens is you have to get really close. If you don't get close, then everything looks little tiny minuscule. So it forces you to get out of your comfort zone. When I was doing the Fellowship of the Aperture Ring up in, that's what me and Aaron call our trips to Gatlinburg every fall. Last fall, I, I ran all day long in um, Morristown, Tennessee with the 20 millimeter all day. And well, that evening, I think I changed to tell a photo for a couple of photos, but all the photos I did in Morristown were done with this 20 millimeter. And it was so I would actually try to do something different than just, you know, the usual zoom ring or the 50 mil or whatever that you're normally used to using. This lens is really interesting to work with. And just like that, we're on the other side of town. I went by and got a picture of Crystal. I drove around a little bit trying to find something that'd be of interest in 20 millimeters. Got a parking lot photo that looks kind of cool. I like the sign juxtaposition with the fact that there wasn't nobody parked in the parking lot. You have to really think to get interesting photos of the 20. It's not just something you can point at a scene and, and get an interesting photo. It's just, it's more complicated than that. You actually have to consider the foreground, midground, background stuff when you're working with super wide lenses like this. They get kind of weird, I think is how Ken Rockwell put it one time. He's like, 24 mil is kind of weird, 20 millimeters definitely in that weird zone, and 14 millimeter is getting crazy. If you think you've gotten close enough with your wide angle lens, look at the photo. Odds are you didn't. Most people want to stand back when they take photos of things. And what you'll learn really quickly with something like a 20 millimeter is you're not near close enough to get unless you're trying to get some kind of scene, a vista, or like a huge object, maybe a structure or a mountain or something in frame, then you back up. But for the most part, like I'm about to go take a picture of this magnolia bloom on this tree. I'm gonna get very close to that magnolia bloom. Then I'm gonna get another shot to give it perspective depth down the street. I'm gonna try to, it's pretty high up in the tree. It's about seven feet off the ground to the bloom. But the goal is, is to get it get some background depth as well as the bloom and maybe the house there's a it's a really pretty house right here look I'll just show you see the blooms right here on that tree and then there's the house so I'm, I want to try and get it shooting down the street and then I want to get a, a shot facing the house and then at least a shot close up of the bloom itself 
and and that's that's kind of my goal is figure out how to use a wide angle lens effectively so you may start seeing this lens a lot more i really kind of like the pairing it's a nice compact little package it and it forces me to work outside of my comfort zone let's go get a photo I'm gonna tell you right now, this lens is sharp. Wow! I was like literally minimum focus distance on this lens is it says 0.85 feet on the scale. It'll go just a touch under it. It says it goes down to one quarter of a meter, 250 centimeters. That equals to about 10 inches. And if you uh, if you look at these photos, I got to within seven, eight inches, ten inches. I was right there at minimum focus distance. Look how sharp they are. Wow. I did have it stopped down to F11 on the last one. And because I was trying to get depth of field, I wanted the whole flower in focus. Something I've always found really interesting is these old buildings like this. Let's see here. Gotta get further out of the street. <laughs> there we go. Gotta back up a little bit now. All right. Yeah, the camera's still there. All right, here we are on an overpass. This is technically Sligo Road. The first one where you leave Trenton, come up and turn on the Sligo Road. You go right around the corner here to the KOA in Trenton. There's a huge swarm of barn swallows just circling. It must be nesting under the bridge. It's just a bazoodle of them. They're just going in circles. Probably cause I'm up here on the bridge. But what I've done is I've got some shots off the bridge here like you see with these guys going under it. And it's allowed me to get motion blur shots. I braced on the handrail, held onto the camera very firmly, and fired just a number of shots as the vehicles were passing under the bridge, and it allowed me to get a, uh, a nice motion blur shot from overhead. Sort of looks like a drone shot without having to actually have a drone. You know, it kind of makes people nervous when you're standing on the overpass right over the interstate lanes. It just, you know, they think you're going to throw crap off the bridge or something, I guess. but. I got some, some pretty cool photos out of the deal. But as you're about to see, I'm gonna run a, a few more frames by you that I took and let you see that you can get kind of interesting photos. I, do, I like to do a lot of perspective photo photos with a wide angle lens or get really close to the, if it's a person I'm photographing, it's just lug nut out of the way, then I like to get close. But if I'm doing objects, I like to shoot perspectives leading line style perspective shots. And you know, I'll have a subject in the foreground that's in focus and then it'll run away into the bokeh is what I like to do. It's my preferred thing, but it's a kind of a two inches on sort of thing. You know, you're not obligated to shoot it that way. Is it gonna rain for real? It's trying to rain again.
you've enjoyed the video to this point, I'd appreciate a subscribe if you don't mind. And I, and I would also appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. So that's all, ooh, that about ended in tragedy. <laughs> so I, you know, this is what I wanted to do was to show you that the Z6 with a adapted lens can take phenomenal photos. And this old 20 millimeter AFD lens is no slouch. It has the resolving power. So with that, this is David, the Georgia photographer. Until next time, get your camera out. Go take a picture with it, all right? We'll see you.